This is Lisa Marie of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. Hey, ladies. So it's very early. I'm sure you are. I'm sure it's early, yeah. Uh, I've been up since how long? I've been up since 2.30 this morning, so I'm just looking at this like, you know me, like, oh, that's going to be so nice right there when I do my videos here. We have this here. Let's just see. Ooh, that's going to be nice. I guess I'll put it down some because you'll like this video, this picture, and I like it too. And then it'll always be in the frame. Yes, we just discovered. But no, it's, it's going to be here. But anyway, so yeah, I ate some food. I ate some food uh, late, which is beans, and I know better. And oh my God, those beans was like traveling down. And they was having the hardest time. Thank you, one person I know on the East Coast of the United States, it's 3.30 in the morning. But on the West Coast, it might be later. <laughs> it might be still um, the other day, yesterday. So, But yes, y'all, I just wanted to come on. And so I'm, I'm going to film this, record this, and then if you might catch it later. But I just felt like I needed to like speak today. So I'm in my... Uh, Excuse me, y'all, I'm just trying to get rid of pop-ups. I'm in my craft room, my design room, my room. And I'm going to actually show you around a little bit today. I did, like, small refreshes in the kitchen. I added a few things. I did some things in here as well. So hopefully naturally clever, because mistakenly I deleted her message, and I'm hoping she can come on, and i got to make her more uh, uh, admin again I moderate again hopefully so anyway see like I look at that picture I'm gonna show you everything but I want you to see the outfit first of all this is so beautiful it's so beautiful like I said I've been up since 2 30 in the morning I'm sure at some point I will crash I got up at 2 30 I wind up going on I tossed and turned to about three my stomach was like churning uh because I ate labels beans this happens I mean like I know better what am I doing and then I just had like things on my mind. I just wanted to make sure everybody was good. And you know, my business is, and I, I just like to make sure everybody's good. And then my sister, you know, she had some news and that was on my mind and how happy I was with my daughter. So kind of, and then um, about three, I got on the internet. I got on my phone and I just started looking at stuff, which was actually not bad. It was good, it was soothing. It was about 15 to four that I knew the only thing that was going to settle my stomach and just settle my spirit because a lot of times you think oh i ate something that kept me up all night but sometimes it's spirit trying to take the path of least resistance your least resistance and sometimes our path of least resistance is a stomach ache or insomnia right or you know just can't sleep sometimes that's our path of least resistance and so the universe wants to get up get up i got something for you so i wound up getting up and doing my deep yoga and what I loved about it was, it was about, by the time I hit the so-called, you know, yoga mat, uh, it must have been about 4.30, maybe between 4 a.m. and 4.30. And so I live in a, a Muslim neighborhood, y'all. And so I could hear the call to prayer. And it is the most beautiful sound. Like, I do have to say, being around so much Islam, I love the prayers. I love the music. I I love it. And the people are house are usually the house people. Are like I love it, y'all. It's just beautiful and soothing. And to be living in a neighborhood like that is actually truly a blessing. It's it's the best neighborhood I could have found. It's like I thought I was gonna live in this other neighborhood, but I really love that this one is next door to the one I thought I was gonna live in. And I love it because the divine never makes mistakes, y'all. Never, ever, 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 ever. Okay. So, I, and, and doing your yoga that early in the morning, particularly in Accra or a busy city, it's even doper because uh, there's no traffic at that time, there's no noise but the prayers, it is, and so you can go so much deeper into your, your meditation because yoga is a meditation. So I was just healing and fixing and releasing and, and just enjoying. So then I got up and figured I should do everything. So I made up my bed, I made my breakfast, I took my bath, I, and then I sat down here and I started sketching, y'all, and I sketched three purses. So the whole bag, I don't need to sketch, I'm not going to show y'all, of course not, but 
Not yet. Uh, the hobo bag, I don't need to sketch. Three good persons. I don't need to sketch because uh, it's just like a remake of a, the bag that I already have just with some, hey, Naturally Clever. Oh, I'm so glad. I, I, I wrote Naturally Clever. I said, girl, I can't even sleep because I done deleted your, your comments by accident. So, yeah, yeah, I'm sensitive. Okay, let me turn on the fan a little higher. Hold on, ladies. And while we're up, let's just get this oven, this beautiful dashiki. Oh, it is so gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Like, I'm in love with it. I mean, I tried it on in the store. Look at that blue. It's going with the blue picture. What? Let's take it down just a notch. What? It's my house slippers, my fluffy slippers. What? Is that not what? What? <laughs> and I got the blue and the yellow, and I'm going to show you what the yellow is. And then me and my fashion, what? Huh? This is not... Uh oh, magazine. Uh oh, magazine. Talk about my my brand. Talk about my brand. Yes. Anyway, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'll show you the other one too. Now, when I have it on, I'll show you it on. I'll show you it off as well. So, so yeah. It was spirit got me up to sketch. So the title of this video is "I'm Motivated by Spirit." I'm not. I'm. I've never been one of those people that had to watch like a lot of uh, YouTubes or something to motivate me to do something. If I'm watching YouTubes, it was me doing it and it was maybe motivating me to keep doing it or to sharing in a community or to learning more about what I am doing. But I usually don't need creative ideas from a whole bunch of people or a whole bunch of sources or even a whole bunch of books. I didn't know that I was so motivated by spirit, which is so funny, isn't it, right? I didn't really understand that I was motivated by spirit. Everything that has come out of me, everything that I've ever done, and we're going to talk about this in the next intensive, is motivated by spirit. So sometimes, like, especially now me as a designer, people like suggesting or telling me little things, I probably won't take it not because it came from somebody else but in a sense because it came from somebody else in other words it won't be me and it will be me making something somebody else suggested but if it don't come from my spirit it's not going to be cute or it's not going to be nice or it's not even going to be original because i'm motivated by spirit and all my designs and my thoughts ideas my decor my furniture and I remember y'all, I love the, the finding process. Everything I show you now or tomorrow or yesterday is going to change or in, I like to say grow and evolve. Do you understand? So you might see something just sitting there. You'll go, oh, you know, that would be a great idea. No, I'm going to get there. And I'm going to get there in my time and my way. But I'm just saying, like, I've always been like this. But I couldn't, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. or like, you older, you look back. I didn't know it. I couldn't verbalize this then. I couldn't say this. Like, I didn't know it, y'all. I didn't know how much I am motivated by spirit. And especially, and so with design, since it's so, it feels new, but it feels old. I feel like I've always been doing it. I've always been putting stuff together. You know what I'm saying? I've always been putting the earrings with the glasses, with the dress. You know what I'm saying? With shoes. Like, I've always been doing that. But now I'm taking myself more seriously. So if I sit down to do a sketch, I don't have, I know that I, I thought that maybe I want to sketch the bags now, but I really don't know. It's just like the same way I used to write poetry or the same way I come up with the titles or even the subjects of my intensives. I just sit with the pen or whatever. Like, I mean, Spirit say sit, I sit. Spirit say get sketch, board, sketch pad out, I get sketch pad out. And Spirit draws. Spirit draws it. And it's not me. The, the, I promise you, like, the robes, the aprons, these purses. It's funny, I did three purses. Well, I'm going to say I did, yep, I did three purses. And two of them are evening bags. One is a semi-clutch and with a handle. One is a dope bag. They're both bad, but they're all coming out to be evening type of bags. And this third one is a, something I have, but it, it's not. I, I changed it. I thought it was going to come out. And then the fourth one is the hobo bag. Like I said, I'm not only to sketch that. I'm going to say, here's the bag. 
but this is what I want from it. Do, do, do. So I'm just redesigning. I'm just making it more functional for myself after having the overbag knowing what I need. That's not mine. I mean, it's mine, yes, I redesigned it. I'll, yeah, I'll put it on the site for sure. But the other three are straight from spirit, are straight from the, you know, the cosmic realm, if you will. Straight from the divine, you know, straight from the most high. Just like everything I do. And because I get to discover it for myself, I'm actually coming up with a line. Whether it's a, a style, you know what I'm saying? It, you can call it a cohesive line. It don't even have to be cohesive with me. That's not important to me. But my style. It's like, I, oh, I did not just create a bathrobe all the time. Although I did with the bathrobe with the kimono sleeves. And I do. I, that, that's my bathrobe. That's the one I come out the bath and I, you know, towel dry and I put that on. And the PJs, you know, love that. Like, I, that's my, it's intended for it. But the other stuff is my lounge robe. You know what I'm saying? But yet they got ruffles. They look elegant. Like, I didn't know I was so dang elegant. You know what I'm saying? In my own way. I mean, Afro elegance. <laughs> you know me? I put that Afro in there. Like, I'm, 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 there's an element of me, an element of me, because I'm a lot of things. That's very Afro elegant, or at least in my designs at this time. Is coming out quite Afro elegant, and I guess it's something I never really see a lot. Uh, I want it to look beautiful and rich, but I always want to have something there that you know we're coming from Africa, and specifically for me, we're coming from Ghana, but not necessarily because I'm gonna be using Kuba cloth in one of my bag designs. Hey, I, mm, I don't know. Mm. Okay, let's just hey, you know, that just like why like it hit me. I was like, hey, so. It's got to be for me. Everything I place. So if y'all see a blank wall or something standing there, just hold, you know, your little suggestions. I do appreciate it. But no, I'm getting there. It's, it's moving. Because if you, if, if I get the suggestions from the magazine or the suggestions from my, you know, clients or customers or even, you know, my friends, then I don't feel like I can put that out there as mine. I feel like that's taking somebody else's design. And, that, and from a legal perspective, I feel like it wouldn't even be safe because that person that suggested it may just come back and say that was my design and all factor it was. If you factored everything, it kind of was. So that's another reason why I don't. So nobody could say I said that, I gave her that, I told her that. Now, the ironing board cover, yes, Nicole came up with the ironing board cover, although I'm going to say this is the truth. Kwame did suggest it, but I didn't go with it. Nicole suggested it, and I heard it in a different way. And so that's why that first one's going to be named the Nicole. But I admit that Kwame said you should put some, do the ironing board covers. Because we were riding down the street, and there was all these ironing boards that they had right outside on the, on the block, basically. And they had all these designs, but they were off. <laughs> and I kept saying, why don't they make, and I would walk up and say, why don't they make ironing board covers that are pretty? And I said, especially in Africa, like all this fabric. And then Kwame said, you should make some in the Ankara print. And I totally, it was a lot going on and doing too much, but I saw so I wanted first because I don't want him coming back and say he said, because he did. But I didn't, I forgot and I didn't kind of hear it. You know, it was even the, the time that I started this my business, the Blackberry Beauty Academy. It wasn't even an academy at that point. I think it was just Blackberry Beauty, and that's the truth it was. My ex-husband saw me and said, they want the products that you use on your face that you make. Sell them, because that's what they're asking for. It took me a whole year to hear, understand, not be afraid. So I'm past those fearful years. Because I did, I had those. I'm going to tell you that. I, I, I honestly say, and then I was like, I want something with beauty or black. And he was like, what about the Blackberry Beauty? He came up with the name. He came up with the name. I mean, I played with beauty. I think black, but black of the berry is really juicy. He came up with the name. And it was, it was, it was wonderful. It was great. Like, I loved it. I think I might have said something like the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. I think I said that. And he said, what about Blackberry Beauty? And that was like, yes, he put it together. So I, uh, and although I appreciate it, it's interesting. I stopped doing the products because, oh my God, like I, it was hard. It was a lot to do and go out and make it. And I realized then that I was not an entrepreneur that needed to be kind of stuck behind uh, uh, somewhere making stuff. 
see this is different I, I choose it or I get it designed and then we ship it out and I love that so I if you notice that's why I added the Academy because I realized I was teaching more and I stopped doing the beauty and I, my ex started doing the beauty and that's why it's him Africa 7 Beauty because he said okay you don't want to do it I'll do it he named it Africa and I was fine with that because <laughs> I it was you know I, I realized I said wow you know he had to convince me to do it and it was a blessing that I did it because it stepped me into something great so those little things those little nudgings in the beginning it's great because you might not step out there to find out what your true voice is and who you are but at this point in my life and at this age in my life like I know that I don't know and I love that you know what I'm saying y'all like I know that I don't know and I love that and I love discovery so I I appreciate all the stuff you're doing you're sent me I love to be inspired the articles are wonderful but I'm not even really reading the articles I'm and I never really have I'm just so filled with new ideas that I just just let me get my stuff my house together to do it to sit down enough to create the ideas to put it in, to make bring them into manifestation so I feel like spirit got me up early this morning to do that so I just designed three bags and I am just so happy so the, the boho bag doll is going to be the sheep leather like I told you it's going to be very very beautiful you're going to love it and then I got three other bags and two of them are going to be the cowhide and one is going to be the goat skin this is going to be beautiful, y'all. Like, I, I, you know, to see it here and then to see it there, it's going to be two different things. But it, I know now I trust the sketches because I trust the divine and I trust the most high. I do. I really do, y'all. So now let's talk about, okay, so I've been called, you know, Next Intensive. We're doing a lot of, so I cannot wait for you to come into this Next Intensive. Thank you for people that are joining. Uh, naturally, naturally Clever will put in the, the box, uh, which the next intensive is and uh, the links to it or at least to my website and also for those that are just joining and you're saying hey where is the uh, website for the all the stuff you're selling at the boutique it is it is actually october 1st is the launch date now i don't know how many stuff i'm gonna have on october 1st but i'm just make sure i have something up there because i told y'all but probably daily for a while at least weekly i'll be adding stuff always always new stuff always because that's just this is africa so let me tell you what I decided to do and little things that I do because what I'm into now is kind of bringing in as little new stuff as possible and reusing uh, and repurposing the stuff that I already have just to eliminate clutter, clutter because y'all, people that know me, if you knew, I, I, you saw my videos, I'm sure you went through the channel. I have been a maximalist, like I, yeah, because I was married to a maximalist and I kind of that was kind of became my aesthetic but then after a while I realized okay I liked it too so I mean I'm not going to just blame him but right now I'm not feeling the maximalism as much but I know I can get myself in trouble so I got to be very careful so I like to use what I got and keep it and then make it into other things so let's go around this wonderful craft room so y'all know I had the cane I had this cane uh, body form, let's just say mannequin, right? Which is so beautiful. Like I said before, I couldn't see details. So I was already using this to hang my own designs. I was hanging my two robes on it. Sometimes if I wanted to, if, when I first came here and I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to start to design, I was thought I was redesigning. So I would take clothes that I bought that I realized I didn't really like and try to sketch a different one and put it on the form and look how I could do it. Now I just put my own stuff up. But today, uh, yesterday, I really was thinking about like, I need a place, I need a place to hang my necklaces. And a sister uh, sent me something that was inspired by, and I was like, that's right. But I, like I said, I, w I was coming to this. This was blank and I already moved it, but it was already holding my hats. As soon as I saw it, I knew that I had nowhere to put my hats. Who wants their hats to get smushed? So I put these here. Now, I also, like I said, I put the necklaces here as well. Now, there's something else. I don't want to accumulate a lot of stuff, so I'm not going to worry about getting a whole bunch of things, necklaces, so I'm not doing that. I'm going to keep it cool. Now, remember, most things don't fit on this form because it's not very formed to, like, our human body. So what I did was... 
I took my loungewear dress and I took, it's on a hanger. And I just put the hanger across the hat, hold on, I'm gonna call it, the neck of this. And now I still get it displayed. It's not trying to, it's not ill-fitted or, or ripping because I'm trying to fit it over something that's not shaped. It's actually beautiful, it's a loungewear. And I can put it on instead of having to go in my closet where it starts to get a little uh, wrinkled. And I, I mean, I love it. So, and then in the back, what I did, this very, this blue one that I have on now, this blue one you see, I had it hanging on this side. See, I got a necklace going this way. And I had it hanging on this side. And oh my God, it looks so beautiful. So I can turn it around as well at will. And it's funny, I have the blue uh, dashiki in the yellow room. And then uh, the gold one would probably be in the blue room. And then I love that in the back. Like I said, this is my inspiration. When I see this, this says, get ready. We about to do some fashion. And that as well. So that is going up there. Remember I told you yesterday. We got to get the two round tables. I'm going to get them today because tomorrow, Friday, my, my uh, calabash uh, lamps will be ready. And I got more room on this side than this side because a couple of things. So there's two calabash. One is big, one is small. Believe it or not, I'm going to put the bigger one here. It'll fit. And, I'm gonna, and put that up. And I'm going to put the smaller one here. And the reason why is because I do need a form. And I need a form that's really a body. Because sometimes I'm going to do shorts, sometimes I'm going to do pants. But I need to put my garments on something that's a real body. So I, I can do that. Now, yes, somebody suggested that I could get this made into the real form. I, don't, I want to right now circulate the money on things that I could use now and, you know, I, 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 maybe. But right now the form works. It, it gets the job done. It helps me stay a little more, no, I feel like I'm serious, serious, and I think it'll be great. And I so next to the mirror, remember, we'll have this picture, and I'm going to put something else there that is fashion-oriented, of course, with Ghanaian art. Ghanaian art, fashion-oriented, and then I got that over there. Like, I'm loving that. Like, that is, that, that is the, like, oh, we're here to do fashion. Like, this is fashion. So just for y'all that didn't come in, I keep my sketch pad under there. I tell you my tree lessons. I got a star. I got some scissors. I got erasers. I got, you know, sharpeners. I got pen, uh, sketch pens. And, like, I don't know nothing about this stuff, but this is what I'm doing. So I came in my room, and I thought that was really good. So let's go. We're going to go into the kitchen, but we got our lights on, although I'm about to turn them off because, you know, the, the sun has come up. But I'm so glad. And y'all, look. The baby came out. She's full bloom. She's out. Look at me. I'm already seeing the next one coming. This is so cool. Like, everybody is doing very, very well. They all say good morning. So, good morning, y'all. Hey. So, yeah. So, this room is basically good. And so, the things in this room is I still don't know. This is the love and relationship corner. We're going to decide. By the time the class ends, the ones that starts October 4th, 21 day intensive, it will be in the description box. Website is all good, all working. Might be a little lag time, so I'll check on that, but it is working so you can order and it is secure. So I don't know that. And this one, um, I'm still undecided as well, but I know it's gonna be good. I know it's gonna be good. Cause I have to, this wall, that little cheer, the whole wall, something magnificent and, and something significant like but i don't know i kind of got an idea i kind of got actually a great idea but i have to see i have to see and we're still waiting for this so let's go into the kitchen yard i, I kind of refreshed a bit and I, I know exactly where these are going so just take a look at this so this is my red my yellow but the yellow has green too which i love and my green that we, that we're talking about for the kitchen so the kitchen has masks, but I wanted to show you a few things about, I wish, oh, I took the other masks, but I'm going to show you. Now, your masks, you got to get them. They will brighten up any room. This area, but the black one would be even better for here, but I, look how gorgeous that is. And they got these, oh my God, I mean, just look how you can use it in so many ways. And how much it just, it just, oh my God, instant, instant, like, kind of glam. Let's look at this red one. This red one, I always say my heavy one. 
I mean, all the ways you can put it. You can, this one, I think, is too big for here. But I was even thinking, I mean, you could. I, mean, I may or may not, but I got a place for this. But you can put it near the picture, bring out the red that's already in the picture. Oh, my gosh. Stunning. Oops. Okay. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So masks are great. I mean, they fill up a space, especially those little spaces. Now, the black ones, and I'm going to show you the black ones that I have, they really look good in these tiny spaces because they're more slender. So if you want to fill, it can go over a door, mask or the barn, you can have a funky one. So these are the newer masks. I'm going to get you some of the old masks on the side as well. But remember, I was like, no, y'all. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep the black mask. First mask I went to today was the black mask. Let me show you what a sister did. Booyah, yes. That black on that red and that copper, oh, oh, and the elephant, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I took the other one, yes, and I, I that had a nail already in it, but I'd hammer this one myself. It was a little early, hope the neighbors didn't wake up. And I, put the, I had to put it on the side because you see this is so far out, which, yeah, in this we need it. Probably not that far, but, and I'm going to correct that one day and really have Kwame make those over, split it in half, and make it a little bit, you know, just a little bit because it does need it because of these. But now I have my masks on there, and I just feel like that gave it that level of super-duper classiness. And I love it. And that get black. I mean, now, remember I said I wanted to up-level the kitchen. I wanted to bring in the sophistication. I didn't want it to look like a, you know, romper room. Like I want to look like a little kindergarten, like classroom. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I did some other things. I got rid of that green thing, but I didn't really get rid of it. This is what I did instead. Like I said, once we uh, get rid of all the paint, which I'm going to have Kojo. So I had this thing. That was on top and it was an eyesore and I couldn't look. It was on top of the cabinet. So I just said, well, I got to get rid of it. I'm not going to get rid of it, but so what I do now, I only have one hand and I'm sorry. But let me just put y'all here. So basically, well, I was doing it wrong. I could do it one hand. Let me show you what I got. So I now just lift this up and the green is in there. So the green is in there. I lift that up and that's what I use. So basically my compost is underneath instead of on top. Real simple. I don't want to get rid of that yet because I might need it. I put one inside so I store in them and I'm stacking them. And it's easy. I put the paint here, which is better. Pull this out when I need that step ladder and put it right here. Now it's gone. It looks good. It looks clean. It looks neat. I decided to change my tea ba baskets, and I love them so much better over here. Clean this entire space, as you can see. Red, yellow, green. Looking way better here than there. Using them was the bananas. All the tea bags, those are extras, and there's towels up there are already in here. The bananas are right here. This is dry now, so I'm going to put it here. And then I took the herbs. Because the herbs, these are herbs, and I got to use them, but I wanted to cover this. I mean, I need it, and I need it close, but I don't need to see it. So the herb bottles with their yellow caps cover it nicely. And then that's what I represent is like herbs, African herbs. So I actually, that is so much neater. It still looks good, and it's dope. I love that. And uh, that's the bowl. But now I'm going to bring in one bowl only because this is what I did with these. I took the clay bowls and I did the red, red, and the yellow in right there, the goldish, which is not going to be the same yellow as this, so it's still going to look really good. And those, those kind of light red bowls are going to pop when this color goes up here. And that looks nice to me. So remember, I'm still, I took all the jars out of the, this one, this, this container. This one held all the jars. Remember, we going, all the jars are going to be glass. And they're going to be pretty tops. We're going to redo all this and put them in glass and bottles. And that's going to be simple, easy to look at, beautiful. I'm taking this. I'm going to look for a container now. Now we do it and, and take the, the wonderful natural dishwashing liquid and put it in something clear green, 
or probably green. I'm feeling like a green, but something nice, not a plastic. So some type of ceramic or something. So I cleaned it up and I'm just so happy. I, I was like, no, we're going to get this counter. And I love that over there so much, but it just makes so much sense. So let's talk about the, and then remember the two masks. And then we still got, we got, we got sister girl over here. Sister girl is making her bang cool and she read. And then I'm telling you the trash can, what I really want to do, if I don't put it under here, if somehow I, I want to get rid of the paint, if I can't get it under here, and I, I might be able to, because I think I can put that still a different way. But if I can't, if it was nothing in there, I thought that I did try it. But if I can't get it in here, which is fine, not a problem. I'm, going, I'm still going to do this no matter what. I'm going to paint it red, gold, and green. It's already done. I mean, the top's going to be a red, maybe gold, and then green. The whole thing. Paint it red, gold, and green, or paint it one solid color. But I think I'm going to paint it red, gold, and green. We need one more red, gold, and green together. I think I'm just going to paint it red, gold, and green. I just thought about it. The stove is already black. Because remember, the colors are red, gold, green, and black. So, because the black star is going to be there. We got the black in the tablecloth. We brought in the black through. We brought in the black through the uh, the masks. So I think that's going to be very nice to have that black. And so now, what are we going to do with those those masks? We're going to go get them first of all. But they're going to go up here. I decided that they're going to go red, yellow, and green. So let me show. Let's go get the masks, and then I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you, and probably I'm going to show you from the other way. But let me get the mask first. So excited. They're going to be right there. So hold on, ladies. All right. My little treats. So we're gonna look at these again. So they're gonna go above the sink. And so this is representing the red, and you can see the in the light better. Yesterday, I don't think you got a chance to really see the details. This is very this is a nice heavy size mask, and I love it. it's the Jean I mean, uh, and think with symbol, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I guess this, and guess, okay, we're gonna look now. How's that gonna look against? Let's turn it around this popping color. Oh, I know how we can do it. And it gives us a chance. I didn't think that we could actually see it popping. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, I kind of can see. Make sure they get that yellow. So, this, because that color, so it's going to be right here. That's going to look beautiful. So, we got our red. We probably can't see because I'm in the white, but we're going to have the red. This is representing the yellow, as I told y'all before. And I'm going to put you back in the other light. So this is representing the yellow. But I like that it also has the green as well. So it's representing the yellow and it's the elephant. The elephant's going to be in the middle with the yellow, but it still brings in the black too. And that's going to hit nice on that black star. So I'm going to try to line it up, right? That black star, that's where the middle is going to be. So I'm going to do my best because I don't know if that's that, you know, but close enough. So we got this in the middle, and then we're going to do, which is also brings in the black as well, we're going to do the green. This is green, Sankofa, but it also has the black in there as well. Now check it out on You'll see we'll, we'll have space between them and we'll put it up there, but it's going to be nice. Okay, so red, yellow, green. But what I love too is the elephants in the middle, trunk up, and we have the Anthinkra symbols holding it to him to, and her or her together. That, that's what's up. So those three, those three are going right here. It's going to bring it to life, okay? So you got that. Now, now I don't have to do all baskets. I do some baskets. So I'm only doing the baskets now here. And they're going to hold tablecloths 
extra curtains. They're going to hold napkins. They're going to hold placemats. That's what they're going to hold. They're going to hold my home decor stuff that I can't put on anywhere else. Extra forks and spoons, uh, things that are uh, napkin rings. Uh, also, they got rings for the curtain rings. So that's what the baskets will be able to hold. So in a minute, you know, come to come and you got your little extra stuff. So I'm going to do the baskets there and that's it. And I actually don't even have to make the basket. Just talking to y'all, I already know. Y'all know the baskets they have. Sometimes they even look, they turn them in, they look like bags, shoulder bags. But these are the basket ones. They have plenty of those here. We're in Africa. I'm just going to already buy them with the colors in it. So with the red, green, it might be mixed with red and green. They have those all day. Just buy the baskets with the colors, red, yellow, and green on some level and some variation. And, and it, doesn't even have, it doesn't even have to be, they got ones with tops and covers. I don't have to get them designed. I could actually just buy those. And that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna have the baskets with the color up there. And so it's gonna be the cane, which is nice, but also it's gonna be, a, it's, it's gonna be yeah, I guess it's still a cane, I'll have to see. And it's gonna be up there and that'll put the home decor. So now we have, we're gonna have that set. We're gonna, we got this already, because I already had them, so. And then we have the three masks there, right? Okay, we already getting the feel. We feeling like we up leveling in here. So here, don't let, don't tell me y'all. I don't know yet. So I'm gonna go here. Okay, I just want you to see. I don't know what. I don't know how. It might be a mask. It might be. I would like another picture here, but I gotta size it up to make sure. They got they got uh, paintings that go just like this. So landscape or we say horizontal, yeah, or landscape, but I mean thin. And that could be stunning. You don't have to take from corner to corner, but a good, nice size that tells the story. That tells the story and still bringing in those reds, those yellows, those greens. Of course, there's going to be other colors as a painting. That's what I'm thinking, not, you know, a whole bunch of masks because we got some. So that's what I'm thinking for here. Like I said, I don't know here, but it might be a mask, but it might be one of the, it's, it's gotta stick with the colors because I gotta stay with my colors, but I think a, a painting there. And so the baskets are gonna be a little high, so they'll be enough. You don't have to put anything on the wall because you got the baskets. We're gonna have something here, something there. They might just be two more masks. They might be round shaped masks, but still have the colors coming in. So I could have my mask collection and be done, you know, there and then there, and then a portrait, a picture of something here going like this, and that would be it for the art in the kitchen. The next thing I would wanna do is get a nice, beautiful, natural fiber rug, paint that red, yellow, green, and then uh, just do something with this. Like she already dressed it up, but, Maybe do the Ankara Maj Podge on the side with the fabric or the whole thing, you know, with fabric. That's going to be a project. And I'm going to, I'm not, now I'm not good at DIYs. That is not my forte. So, but there are people here that are so dang talented. So I'll probably hire somebody to put the fabric on here and on the front. And then there we go. And then there we go. And then I'll be colored. So that'll be fine and we will do it. So I gotta paint first. I gotta get that bright, bright yellow up there because that's gonna make everything pop. It's gonna be like alive. And oh, this is what I was gonna say. And then for here, I'm not gonna keep this bowl here because this bowl really goes up here. I'm gonna have a, a stand out bowl, a stand out bowl that's gonna be magnificent. And it's gonna be kind of nice, a bigger size so it can just bring this to life, maybe just straight yellow, and it's gonna be gorgeous. And so that'll be there. And let's keep it simple, easy. There we go. So this is what we're doing. And you know, I got my little Ghana cups. I love Ghana, the flag, and I love Ghana. This is my favorite one. And got my green, the black, and the white. So I'm still bringing in that black, that white, because we got a little beige white. Cheers, total inspiration. Don't forget our tablecloths that we'll be having as well on the site. Like I said, what I'm going to do with this is, now this one might be able to stay, even though this is green and fuchsia, 
but um, you know I'm making lots more aprons. I'll make me another one. So what I'll probably do with these, which I love them, these are gonna be my serving aprons, is I'm probably gonna hang, build, create something here to hang the those two aprons here. So if I wanna go in and out, I can put them on there, which I could do so easily. I could actually just put another one of these on the wall. And if those aprons will go out here, and then the apron in here be the one that I could wash the dishes with and get wet. So it'll be more like red, gold, and green. But it'll be creative red, gold, and green. Oh, I already thought of it. I got to hurry and put it down. Oh, y'all. Oh, I got a little... I'm, 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 I'm going to design it. So it's going to be totally designed. But it's going to be... You ain't... I, no. Wait till you, you ain't never seen the one I'm going to do. It's going to be red, yellow, and green. But it's, you ain't never seen this one. I, I got to hurry up and put it down. That, that's how much its flight's going to be. And so that will be the only thing hanging from here is the red, yellow, and green apron that I'm going to design that already came into my head. And then, like I'm saying, I'm keeping the towels red, yellow, green, and white. Now, these are fine, just, you know, cleaner, brighter, rather. They're clean, but we need some brightness. Keeping all the towels, and that's it. And then, you know, find, bringing in, of course, weekly bringing in fresh flowers for the countertop, because now I have that. Or fresh flowers over there once we get the nice thing. So, yeah, y'all, it is really, really working out. I am excited. I hope you are excited. I got to move these. But. So, this weekend, so this weekend, Saturday, kitchen painted. Saturday, those will go up. Uh, Saturday, we're changing the uh, shade. And then, of course, I'm going to do a, the cane shade in here. Uh, but I know I'm going to do the flat one that I, I think I showed some of y'all in my favorite restaurant, same place, same time, same cafe, Mahogany, the vegan restaurant. I think that I'm going to use that open one more so we won't shade too much light, but it'll be beautiful because that needs, it needs that. It really, really needs that. And on a really good day, when I'm really feeling it, I will repaint the ceiling, but it'll be a bright, beautiful white. So that white just will give it that whoo. So yeah, I'm re I ain't gonna redo the ceiling, but I'm, I'm not gonna do it yellow. I'm gonna do it white. I'm gonna do it white. So there you go. I'm gonna do it white and bringing out the, the hints of white in the cup, the so-called white off white in the there, you know, the whites in the towel. So bringing that white and then I'll get the shade, find something beautiful here. And we just, we did it, we did it. So, yeah, that's what it is, y'all. So, also today, I would like to look for, for real, for real, because I can't take a look at this, I need my vases. So, I was thinking, I want a white vase because I want to pull out the white that's in her necklaces, her necklace. So, I want to pull out her neck piece. I want to pull out that white. I think that'll be stunning. And I, this is a scene showing me that I think I would like the white. Like I said, I'm giving that away. But... Let's pull up the white. Let's pull up the white. Uh, something beautiful. And I thought, but I also want cane. Spirit said, white cane. Just paint it white. Get you some vases made if you can't find them already. That's tall. I want tall vases because I want that to be next to her. I want the vase to be almost as tall. Or the top as tall as the, the, the love seat. The, the top of it so long and then those feathers on like I stuffed that thing with newspaper paper and then we'll stand those feathers on it and they'll give it that height and drama but I was thinking I like cane for the naturalness but I want the color white no problem I even have remember I had the white cane if you will a white rattan uh lamp I can do the same thing painted white that'll bring in that whiteness and even the whiteness in the sense that's in the paint that will, it's just going to be beautiful. It's going to brighten it and just give it that something that's going to, it's going to match with her and pop, 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 pop. Okay. And then I think I have a painting for here. I think, but I don't know because I don't know where she's going to go. I know I got a painting, but I don't know if she's going to go here or she's going to go on my wall in the barrel. I'm not sure. But the, the, we need the warrior man here. We need him here. And then, you know, there we go. And that's it. So I promise y'all, I am not doing all this. I want this to feel very eerie. It's already narrow. Let me turn off these lights. So yeah, I want it to feel very eerie. And that's that. So, and still working on the site. Okay, y'all, I got to go to the bathroom.
but let's uh, answer some questions. Oh, I got, I mean, I went to sleep at, oh, and did I tell you, not only did I get up at 2.30, I went to sleep at almost midnight, so I'm going to crash soon. Hey, it's so like, uh, hey, Nat, the house dress looks beautiful. Hope all is well. Thank you, Natural Cover. It is. I was laughing the whole while saying, sis was tired. That's right. You hear me? I was, and I knew I had no business being up there late, right? Hey, Melanin. So, Melanin, good news. Uh, I know your bag is with the other sister that's in California, and she says she's going to go check the mail today because we mailed three people. The one sister got her bag that was supposed to be. Yours was switched with the other one, and I told her it's coming, and so she's already ready to do the switch. So you're going to have your bag. Yes, blue, yes. Now, just I love how the neckline of it rests nice. Isn't it perfect? Thank you. Thank you for the BlackBerryBeauty.com for all upcoming intensives and master classes. Yes. Vera Jones, good morning, beautiful. Good morning to you. Omi Funke. Hey, Lisa Marie, girl, you up late. Exciting. Yes. Hey, Lisa, ladies, yes. Well, I'm going to feel it. Okay, such a love, lovely man. Aren't they nice, Vera? You have the two colors I would love for the long dress you are wearing, but do they have more? Yes. They have black with red. They have white. I, I saw, I was going to, I really liked all of them, but yeah, they had red, they had white, they had the yellow, they had the gold, they had a the green, they have all colors, they have all colors. I would love to have these on the site. If y'all want to let me know, because we need our beautiful house dresses. Or, you know, they really, they can be made to wear outside as well. I just always look at these as house dresses, but you don't have to. Laugh out loud. My time is off. This Equinox got me. That's right. Laugh out loud. Those ancestors and you speaking in that kitchen. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Omnika. Hey, Naturally Clever. Mache, Omi, McLeod, and everyone else in the chat. Zumba Queen. Good morning, Lisa Marie. Love the lounge we're Thank you, uh, Naturally said Yes, please. Yes. And you know what, too? Uh, yes. Thank you. We will have it. Uh, my lounge wear. I've been sketched that. So I'm going to get that to... Uh, I'm going to see because I'll pick up my stuff from James tomorrow to see, you know, he wants to show me what he could do. Uh, but I'm thinking about taking the loungewear to back to Esther. She didn't see it yet because I, y'all got the loungewear that I'm creating. This is the loungewear that I, I want to have on the site as well. But I'm also creating some other loungewear that will be very Lisa Marie. And uh, yeah, people are like, oh, you going to wear that outside? Nope, you ain't going to wear that outside. Your loungewear is your sacred wear, and you should love it on it. So, all right, y'all. So let me get ready to get out. I want to get out early. I want to write a list of all the things I got to do because I want to feel like I'm making progress. And uh, I got to get my designs to this to the man. I'm so glad it didn't work out yesterday because I had so much to do because I want to give him the purse. We got to see my first purse. We got to see my first purse, y'all. Come on. We got to see the first purse. So. Ooh, I'm excited. This is new. This is new. All right, ladies. I love your like, share, subscribe, comment. I will put everything in the description. Peace and blessings.